Do you want your subtitles to stop looking like this and start looking a bit more like this? Well, you've come to the right place, all right? Take a seat, let me show you how it's done. Whenever I've searched for a tutorial on how to do this for Sony Vegas, Premiere Pro ones come up instead. So hopefully this will help you out. And remember, if you do find this video helpful, leave a like, comment, and a subscribe, and check out my other videos. I'm not a tutorial channel, so this is a one-off video. I make gaming videos with the lads. Right, let's get on with it then. So what you're gonna wanna do is open a video track firstly. So you right click here, insert video track. I already have one. Then right click again, text media. Now, what I like to do is use space comics right here, make that a size 10. And we'll just write hello. The location, I like to have a 0.50 by 0.20. So it's around this area. The outline of the text, I like to have a black outline and the width of 10. Now you can't see it here because this is a black background, so it won't show up. After you do that, exit there and go to here, the event pan and crop. Once we're in here, make sure you are at the start of the timeline. So this little thing over here, make sure that's right at the start. Now, you're gonna wanna divert your attention over here. This is what we're gonna use to get that popping feature. And if you can't see it, it's probably because it's hiding. So just press the plus button and it should bring it all up. Also make sure that these two things are checked. Okay, so this one, check them. Make sure they're blue. Right, now you're just gonna follow the exact same measurements. So for the position, we're gonna do width of 3,786.9, done. Now the height should change automatically. If it doesn't, just change it to what you see on the screen. The X center, 990.7. The Y center, 137.8. Seven. Now rotation, this should all stay the same. Again, if you don't see exactly this, just change it to that. This section, keep it the same. Same with this section. Make sure that these are both tagged yes. Now the last section, all we have to do is change the zoom and we're gonna change it to 15.4. Now, as you can see, it zoomed the whole thing out, which is exactly what we need for our popping feature. Now go back down to the timeline and scroll wheel up. Mouse scroll wheel up until you get to here, until you see this number, 0 0.06. Now you're gonna bring this cursor all the way to 0 0.06. Once it's here, we're gonna set a keyframe. And to do that, we're gonna go back up here, right click, press restore, done. Now go back to the timeline. As you can see, it's zooming in and out. This is how we get our popping feature. So keep it at the start, and now we X out, and it should be done, like that. Now just grab your clip, like I have here, and make sure there's a video track above, which I already have, so that you can grab your text, which is over here, and put it on top of your clip. And now we just sync it up with the audio down here. So I start off by saying by Norton. By Norton. There we go. So now we just want to go to the top left, the fade, put a little fade in there. 0 0.2 seconds, done. There we go. So what do I say next? By Norton, see you, see you in the- So see you in the afterlife, which is around here. So grab this and drag it until you get there. Now control C, which copies, go to the end, click, control V. Now press the top one and press OK, get rid of the fade, because we only need fades at the start and the end of a clip. And I say, see you in the, see you in the, back out of that. See you in the up afterlife. So I say afterlife around here, so grab the end of the clip, drag it back, control C, again, click it, control V, paste, afterlife, sir, is what I say, afterlife, sir. So, sir, I end here. Bring all the way here and now add a fade out. So go to the start of the clip and we'll see the pop. Bye Norton, see you in the afterlife sir. Yeah, Done, and that's exactly what we wanted. I really hope that this tutorial did help you out and if it did, make sure to leave a like, comment and a subscribe and also check out my other videos since I do gaming videos. Alright, that's me done. Be good, stay safe, love you. See ya.